We're gonna see what they're up to. Get back in the car, dude. 975, I'm in foot pursuit. Get on the ground, dude! So we were on patrol in uh, one of my favorite areas to work. Um, we were driving specifically on Southeast Herald, uh, which is a very busy through fair. We were actually headed eastbound when a uh, late model Honda uh, passed by us. These are one of the most commonly stolen vehicles in the city. When it passed by me, I couldn't see a front license plate. We rounded the corner and I found that the car had been quickly pulled to the curb and the driver was exiting the vehicle. And so when I asked him to get back into the vehicle, uh, he decided that he was gonna take off on foot. He's grabbing his waistband. He might have a gun. Get on the ground, dude! White male, black shirt. Get on the ground, dude! He's still grabbing his waistband. Lay down! Okay. Roll on your stomach. Keep your hands out. Do not move. 7-5. I'm at uh, 115 in Raymond. Keep your hands out! He went to the ground on his own because I could see, you know, I think he was getting winded and he recognized I wasn't going to give up. So when he went to the ground, he immediately complied with my commands to prone himself out, keep his, uh, his hands away from his body. Um, and he was very uh, cooperative at that point. And uh, upon taking him into custody, he was actually very apologetic. That was kind of stupid thing, I'm sorry. It's all good, dude. Nice day for a jog, though. Let's put him in your truck real quick. Where are you running, bro? I don't know. Got a warrant? Yeah, probably, but <laughs> All right. nothing serious. All right, yeah. man. Take Can a seat for me. Yeah, I got you, dog. Thank you. Take a seat. Thank you. I'm sorry again. It's all good, man. No hard feelings, right? Everybody likes a little exercise. The car uh, ended up not being stolen. The search of the car yielded uh, some drug paraphernalia. I think uh, there was a used meth pipe in the center console. I sat him down on the push bumper of the patrol car and uh, kind of gave him a moment to himself, reflect on what was going on, gave him a cigarette. He admitted that he struggles with methamphetamine use on a daily basis and that that affects his judgment and decision making. How long have you been struggling with the clear, man? I mean, I know, so for instance, I know people that have been out here that are like 20 years old that started when they were like 13. Is that you or is this a recent thing? No. no? Recent. Recent. Did you get hurt and turn to it, or is it was it just a habit you picked up, or? I get a habit. I don't know. I'm not sure. It just happened. He definitely uh, was honest about kind of his circumstance in life right now. He wants to kick the habit. Um, I explained to him that you know uh, treatment is probably a good route for him. You know the goal here is to keep you out of the system and not in it. So if there's anything that when you go through this process for what you're wanted for when you're in front of a judge and you're talking about what's gonna happen with this case, I can tell you that a judge is going to be very open to hearing you admit that you have an issue and that you wanna help with it. If you can fall on that sword and accept that you have an issue and it's leading you to make some decisions like we made today and you can kick that and you want help kicking that, that's gonna go a long way. Yeah. Unfortunately out here in, in, in Southeast Portland is a, a story I hear all too often. It's one of addiction and struggles therein. He certainly recognized that uh, he needs to change things if he's gonna move forward with his life. Back up! Back up! Down Back up and I will comply! Back up and I will comply! What does that even mean? If you back up, I can stand back and get my knee unfolded! Can you relax? Ah! Ah! Stop pushing on my knee! Just move, please!